please note that this video contains spoilers. Matrix Path of Neo, game thoughts. Okay, so I'm sure there are people who just love the silly stuff in this, or at least accept it more than I do. You know what? I don't have a problem with silly stuff. Well, like, it's a personal preference thing at the very least. What my beef with this is, it's presented as if it's part of the overall continuity. It's presented as if, you know, like it's supposed to be part of the Matrix universe, that the Matrix trilogy is just a series of movies that people are watching in theaters. And of course that is the reality, but I just don't see what the point is with so often, you know, breaking the fourth wall and not even doing it in particularly funny, much less insightful ways, you know, it's just, I mean, it can be done right. Read a Deadpool comic, that, that's how you do it, you know, or, you know, watch the end of the first movie. But here, it's just, it's like they didn't care. It's like they didn't, it was like they were desperate for people to not take their product seriously anymore. I mean, I'm assuming that this was done at the behest, maybe even the request, of the, the Wachowski brothers. Did I just repeat myself? Maybe I did. Moving on. At the very least, it's presumably not against their will because they were kind of in charge of the game, I'm guessing. You know, wasn't it their intellectual property and you know, everything? You know, someone correct me if I'm wrong here. So why? Why were they so... I mean, at least with the first movie, you were sure that they... You know, yes, it has humor to it, but it does want you to take it seriously, you know, and it should be taken seriously. You know, the first movie has a lot to offer. With the sequels, they're still taking it seriously. In fact, that's part of the problem with the sequels. They want you to take it seriously, and we can't take it seriously. But so anyway, we have the ant level with the doors that lead to strange places, and you have to just find the right door. I, I'm sorry, when the gameplay comes right down to, you just have to try, and eventually you'll get to the right one, that doesn't seem that much like fun, you know, and you have to jump between these jumping puzzles, really? And, and so obviously and awkwardly done jumping puzzles at that. You know, it's not that jumping puzzles are necessarily a bad thing. I love the Prince of Persia franchise, and that's essentially... You could boil that down to jumping puzzles and, you know, some puzzle solving. But here, it's just so... And what does it... How does it fit in with the, the whole Matrix universe? You know, you gotta have fighting, you gotta have shootouts. You know... That's about, you know, maybe some battles in the real world also. I think this could kind of have had, you know, some battles in the real world. Not sure it has, you know, like a level where you fight Bane, you know, trying to save Trinity. But, yeah, you know. Or, you know, some maybe some flying, you know. I'm sure they could have done better flying than, you know, the Matrix had. You know, have some hovercraft flying. Not even sure it had driving. You know, again, it just... Yeah. So, yeah, and we have... Okay, I'm not an expert on American politics, but isn't it Congress that they're suddenly at? And it's like a debate between if, you know... Fictitious violence creates real-life violence, and Smith is there with a grenade launcher, and it's... What? What? What is... Where did this come from? It's just... This is how this would have been fine by me. If these levels had been like unlockables, like secrets, you know, if it had been, haha, <laughs> this isn't for real. You know, kind of like how in Max Payne 2, in lieu of a multiplayer, they basically just have these deathmatch, you know, 
kind of thing where the enemies keep spawning and you just have to take them out. Obviously, that's not in continuity. That doesn't have, you know, it uses the characters, uses the settings, but that's it. It has no connection to the storyline of Max Payne 2, and we accept that because it's not presented as if it does take place in there. You know, it's just there for fun. It's to, you know, prolong the gaming experience. Here, it's just really awkward, and with how often it is, it's impossible to ignore. Queen over the ending? Really? Seriously? And then, you know, Andy and Larry show up and say, well, we know our ending kind of sucks, so we thought of a new one that works better in a game. Granted, that final fight isn't bad. It's again just really yeah, kind of out of nowhere, but yeah, I don't know. I again, you know, if that had been like a secret, like you know, you had completed the game, the end credits, you know, and then it said, you know, unhappy with the ending, well, enter this code, and then you'll see, you know, something. You know, it's like how in Enter the Matrix, the stuff that really is, you know. You getting to enter the, I don't know, the hallway, the, the back doors area. That's not in continuity. That's something you, you have to hack to unlock it at all. And the hacking, you know, when is that even taking place in the continuity? That's the player communicating with sparks. So, you know, that whole thing you know, obviously that is taking place outside of it, and that's why, you know, you can suddenly... That's why there are these areas where enemies magically respawn. You know, that isn't... I guess it could be a training program, but, you know, why would it be accessible through the back doors hallway thing, you know? Guess it would have been cool if they also had a construct, or if they did it in a construct instead, but anyway. Yeah, I think that's about it. You know, if you loved the goofy stuff in this game, you know, comment down below. Feel free. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.